Hello and welcome to our short presentation on the bigger picture to your picture, focusing on economic. My name is Steph Jackson and I'm an enterprise risk management consultant here at Ecclesiastical. So the riskier landscape, what a turbulent time we've had over the past few years. We've seen multiple big black swan events, those large scale events that come often out of the blue, um, perhaps unlikely to happen, but when they do, they can be catastrophic. We're seeing this ongoing period. We've seen COVID-19, which we're still feeling the impact from in many ways. We're seeing terrible things going on in Ukraine. We've seen Brexit, the list goes on. Is this uncertainty here to stay? Will it ever end now the boat has been rocked? How can we continue to respond and be best prepared as we can going forwards? We're going to have a look at some of those bigger themes and bring them from the wider picture to your picture. So by looking at the Risk World Economic Forum, the global risk report that's produced tracks a whole breadth of those global risk perceptions amongst experts from around the world. Uh, so what we can see here is a number of key risks of particular interest um, that potentially have the impact over the next few coming years. I'm just going to pull uh, those out for us now. So we've got things like adverse technological advances, asset bubble burst, cyber security failure, uh, following that big migration, and digital transformation uh, where we're becoming more heavily reliant on technology. Geoeconomic confrontation, natural resource crisis, so focusing on those kind of water sources and natural resources, livelihood crisis. We can start seeing how some of these risks are linking together as well. Human environmental damage, mental health deterioration, again, linking through livelihood crisis, impacting mental health, social cohesion erosion, infectious diseases, We've seen a good example of that, COVID-19, saw monkeypox kind of coming through into the media. Is that going to continue? Digital inequality, it's that whole piece around having access uh, to that ever growing technological world climate change action failure and sustainability, debt crisis, again, linking through to livelihood crisis, mental health deterioration, biodiversity loss, extreme weather events, we're seeing an increase in magnitude and events happening again and again, material flooding. Again, could that link through to climate change action? Involuntary migration, so we've got some big kind of themes coming through from the Global Risk Report. Let's bring some of those down, uh, have a look at some of those a little bit closer, see how they can impact your picture. I'm going to pull some of those economic themes out now, focusing on two particular themes. We've got economic hardship. We've just got Small statistic there around how we're seeing the fees increase. We didn't have a such a significant increase in 2021, which can be reflected uh, in the whole kind of COVID-19 piece. But on average, we're kind of seeing that 4.1% in 2020. So economic hardship, things to think about. Are parents going to be expecting more for their money? We're seeing a continued increase in costs around us, rising. Can we continue to increase at that scale and that level? Are parents going to expect more? Is it going to impact their ability to pay? Can we monitor that more closely? Can we kind of preempt uh, when parents are struggling? Could this impact our ability? to retain pupils, all things to think about from our perspective. Mental health deterioration, 
Again, we can see some linkage coming through there. We've got increase in rising costs that could impact parents' ability to pay. Again, could impact that kind of mental well-being in a family environment. What we can see here, we can see that pupil stress and anxiety has risen from the fourth biggest challenge in schools in 2020 to number one in 2021. And we're continuing to see that in 2022. So we've got a huge rise there of 26 percent. There's already a huge focus on well-being. Mental health, another significant risk that we're facing here, proves to be an ongoing challenge for everyone, including pupils, teachers and parents. Have we got the relevant support required in place? Is there anything else that we can do? Can we identify hotspots and drivers and triggers? Can we identify those potentially vulnerable individuals, whether it's staff or pupils? Can we be more proactive? What services can we provide? Have we got things like a wellbeing policy in place? Counselling services for pupils or employees? Are we delivering the right training for our staff in managing some of these mental health issues? Other little things to consider, things like mindfulness techniques. We've also seen a kind of creation of outdoor spaces, get people outside um, spaces and gardens designed for individuals to sit and relax. Is there anything else we can do here? Can we be preventive? Support that going forward. So in summary, use your risk management approach to scan the horizon. Use your risk management process. Identify what those longer, broader term big risks could be can use our resources such as a global risk report which comes out at the end of January time to think about those bigger picture risks. Identify potential impact on you. Analyse those to identify causes and consequences. Investigate what uncertainties could become the here and now and could impact you going forwards. See whether you've got those on your risk register, whether there's any more uh, controls uh, or actions that you can undertake to reduce that level of risk. Again, detect threats or even opportunities early so we can be ready to respond and share ideas and success stories. Other peers in the community and other schools, educational establishments. <laughs>